Okay, the objective of this is to transfer or to, to take the data from the original database file, which is what I'm opening right now, which comes from Parlis's territory program. Transfer this information into this file. The territory helper can read. Territory can't read this type of file. You have to put you have to put this information in something that it will understand, and that's why we're doing all this. So basically, it's taking this information, taking this information, and copying it over here with a little twist. We'll explain. Okay, let's just go through this by column A all the way through P. If you can fill up all the information from here, fill this up. A through P with this information over here then you've succeeded. Okay, territory. First of all, column A, territory type. Let's put the city down for this right here. For this particular territory that we're working on, territory number 46, this, uh, this territory is going to be in the city of Conway. So type that in, Conway. Territory number, as I mentioned, it's territory number 46. Yes, it says 49 right here, but for some reason, Carlos's program translates it badly. Instead of putting 46, it puts something else other than 46 or the desired territory number. So we put the correct territory number on there, which is 46. Location type, for now, let's call it house. Let's just call it house all the time. And what about the location status? For now, I want you to put unknown for every single one. Language. Spanish. Okay, so right now we've basically populated information from A all the way through E. We'll, we'll explain more about A through E in a little bit, but for right now let's go on to columns F and G, latitude and longitude. Okay, now we're getting into the real operation here. So right here you can see latitude and longitude just want you to take this information, copy it all the way down to the very bottom. Okay, as you can see, it has latitude and latitude, latitude and longitude information, but it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. I want you to go all the way down to the bottom. Right click, or excuse me, yeah, right click, copy, going over here, right click paste values. Okay. At the very least, I know where the bottom of this database is going to be. So what I want you to do is I want to take A all the way through A all the way through E because this is going to be the same all the way down to the bottom. And remember, we end over here, right? Because as you see on this side right over here, that's really where the data ends. Yeah, we don't have lat latitude and longitude for that, but we want it to go all the way down to the bottom. So now you got all that highlighted. What you want to do is you want to you want to do control and then down or control D for control down. It'll populate all those fields. So for now, we can consider columns A all the way through G as finished. For now. We'll come back to it though, okay, because there's still some areas where it doesn't have latitude and longitude. We need to fill that in with the correct information, but we'll get that get get back to that later. Column H. Column H actually need we need to put an address. As you can see the sample right here, that format, 124 Columbia Heights, etc. etc. You want it to read something like that, okay? You don't want it to just be a number. Yeah, it's 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 odd because we have an address here, we have a number, street, etc., etc. Anyway, right here at the very least, I want you to put the house number and also the street, the street name. So how do we do that? Going here to the right hand side, the screen. You can see this field over here. It's got the house number, 
and then the street address, that's number street address. What I want to do, even though they're in different columns, is I want to join this information. How do I do that? Okay, um, <clears throat> you can play around with this right over here, this spreadsheet off to the right, as you can see. You don't have to save anything, you just, you're just using this spreadsheet just to mine information from. So let's just pick some some column somewhere. I'm going to start right here. Cell number AC, AC2. Type in equal. I go to that cell with my house number. Then I type in and. And then give it a quotation mark. And I want there to be a space, so I hit the space and then put a quotation mark. Press and once again and it will give you the street name. Press enter. Notice what we have here. We have the number and the street name which is what we want. Take all, take all this, you go control down. Yeah, I think <clears throat> row 71 is where we want to be at. Okay, so you highlight all that, control D See, you notice how everything populated with a street, the number? Okay. What you want to do now is you want to copy the information that you just made. Copy. Right click. Copy. Going to the other spreadsheet. Right click. Paste. Values. Okay. We're done with column H. Going to column I. A little bit easier. You're just taking the information from this column D. Sorry about that. This column D. Right click, copy. And for the number here, we just want straight number. That's it. Right click, paste values. So you see, just have nothing but straight numbers. All right, going back to our original spreadsheet, copy all this information in column E. Right click, copy. Here, we just want the street name. Right click, paste values. What's the city? You remember we're in Conway, right? So you can copy the information from the spreadsheet. This this is the easiest way. Just type in Conway. What's the county? Ori. It's going to be the same all the way down to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'll take Conway and Ori. Control down. Okay. The postal code may be different. Sometimes you have two nine two seven two whatever you know you don't you don't want to try to just put something in and copy control down all the way down because sometimes it does vary. So to be safe, you just copy this information. Right click, copy. And then paste values. We're of course preaching in the state of, not the great state of California, but South Carolina. Okay, um, South Carolina and the country code is going to be the same all the way down to the bottom. So you just take that, control D. Okay, there we go. Almost done. Let's save it. File, save as. I'd hate to lose all this right right now. That wouldn't be good. Four six. It is territory number forty six. So yeah. Okay. Uh, the notes. What do we need to put in? Going back to this sheet over here. What we really want is we want the name of the person, which is in column C joined with the information on the 
notes right here, V. Okay, so going back to the column, column C and column V. <clears throat> We're gonna go here, just select some random cell, type in equal, go on to column C, right? Column C. What you want to put in is and quotation mark space put in a dash space quotation mark and do and we're going to go to we're going to go to column v right that's where our notes are okay so press enter Notice we have the name of the person, space, dash, space, and then the notes that was eventually written in. Take that, copy it all the way down. Control D. All right, so right click, copy, going back to column P right here, right click, paste, values. All right, so it looks like we've populated everything from A to P. Normally, we, were, we would be done. However, we have some missing values here, latitude and longitude. We really want to put information there. Okay, so we have these spaces over here. We want to fill that up. There's also one at the bottom, remember? All right, so going, going up here, 496, 496 Halley Martin. All right, how do we do that? Okay. All right, happen to have that, 496 Halley Martin. The way you find the latitude and longitude is you just place your cursor somewhere close, right click, what's here, then you have the latitude and longitude, take that, excuse me, right click, what's here, just copy it, right here you have your latitude, paste, Longitude, paste. <clears throat> Remember, it's only asking for latitude in this cell, so you have to erase the longitude manually. Sorry. Here, you have to erase the latitude manually. Okay, so you have latitude and longitude. Sorry about that. Let's try that again since you didn't see that. Paste, latitude, latitude and longitude, paste, latitude and longitude. Here, you erase, you have to erase the longitude. There, you have to erase the latitude. <clears throat> Go through all these spaces and fill it out. Press save. And once you've got all these missing spaces filled out, you can consider yourself done. Okay, that's it.